I remember we were in the car one day, and then the kids started a conversation about who is Akong's favorite. And then they looked at each other and said, Akong says, I'm the favorite. And then the other one said, No, he said, I'm the favorite. <laughs> yeah, so who is your favorite, Dad? Uh, you are my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> On the 10th of October 2014, baby Leland came into our lives. It's been six days that she's been with us, and it's been one of the best six days of my life. She's such a joy to have, and it's just amazing to see the miracle of life. In 2009, I received an award, a beautiful crystal award. And I came back home one day uh, to discover that my youngest daughter had broken that award. I was shocked because that was one of my proudest achievements. And to my surprise, when I came back home the next day, I found a sign and, and it said, uh, seriously, my awesome father won that award with a crystal thingy, it just broke. Um, and then I, I, I took a picture of it and I posted it up on Facebook and I, and I said, thank you, my dear daughters, for putting up this sign. I think it looks even better than the crystal you broke. And hashtag why I can't get upset with my girls. Um, a lot of times we get programmed by society to have a lot of fears. When we discovered that she was expecting our first child, our first reaction was... I cried. I felt that I was not ready. I felt that I'm going to lose myself, you know, and... And every single one of the fear that we thought we would have when we have children who were totally washed away. I suppose it is things like that that you know makes you feel that um, when you have a, a family, there is no, almost no challenge too big. After two, we reached a point in our lives where we thought... Um, two is enough. Yeah. I remember feeling that the world that we live in, uh, there's a lot of suffering around. And uh, bringing another child into this world is almost cruel. But witnessing a friend of ours who lost their first child, mm. it was an experience that, that showed us that life really is such a miracle, mm. such a gift. And having a child became, for us, an opportunity to bring light into this world. It's amazing. I always thought that you can only have so much love for a child, but having another child, you find the love for them. And it doesn't divide, it multiplies. Everybody has the fear that uh, two sets of in-laws cannot live together. So when Bernard asked us to move in with him, there was some doubts. But uh, we moved in. We were very happy because we wanted to be with the grandchildren. When they were young, I played with them. Jonathan, the eldest grandson, will be Cyclops. And then uh, Justin? Wolverine. Hey. Wolverine, yeah. And I stitched the garments for them, you know. Very simple one, but they love it and we play. I was the bad guy, so we run around the house and all that. People tend to assume that, oh, you have children because, you know, the good times outweigh the bad times. I don't think you can measure the good times and compare it to the bad times, you know. The only thing that keeps me going is the conviction that this is exactly where God wants me to be. No one is a perfect parent. We feel sometimes, we do good sometimes. We try to pride ourselves as parents that we raise them up, but actually, God is the ultimate parent that will guide them and grow them, in spite of our feelings. My parents actually separated when I was, uh, when I was really young. I was five and I was about two. My grandparents were the ones who were there for the main formative years of our lives. Yeah. From my growing days, I always see my grandpa taking care of us and taking care of my grandma. He will drive her to her meetings, drive her to meet her sisters, everywhere. And I actually came to this point where I really believe that he will do anything for my grandmother. 
I really strive to be like him and love exactly like he does. There is a great fear in broken home. The child can blame the parents for not helping them. So I was afraid of that. Sometimes I tell them, me and my children, this is my heaven on earth. My family is a gift, and it's a gift from our Creator. I'm going to do everything I can to make the most of it. As a child who has gone through a failed marriage, one thing that I always want to tell parents who feel like giving up is if you are giving up, you are also giving up on the child. The life of the child will be changed in every single way. I was blessed to have my grandparents, but not every child will have that same blessing. Not every child will be guided by God in the same way. When they need me, I was there. I, I did nothing special. Any grandma would have done what I did. Family should be love, understanding, and forgiving. No matter how tough it gets, your family is what you should always hold close to your heart. I just ask that you don't give up on them. And I'm very sure they won't give up on you.